Hi all. In this lecture, we will discuss the problems of the session section two point four differences between linear and non-linear IVPs. So let's continue with the first problem. The problem is first uh, the problems one to six. You have to uh, find an interval in which the solution of the given IVPs is certain to exist. So you have to find the interval of definition actually, uh, but uh, it is given that there is no need to solve the problem exactly. So without solving, you have to find the interval in which the solution must exist. Okay. For that, without solving the problem, we have to find where the where will be the interval of definition of the solution. For that, we have to apply the theorems. Isn't it? That means the existence and uniqueness theorems for linear IVPs and non-linear IVPs. So let's take the example first. Example, example one. The problem is uh, given as t minus three into y dash plus log t into y equal to two t, with the condition initial condition y of one equal to two. So here uh, the given equation we can write it in the standard form. Uh, then by writing it in the standard form here y dash coefficient of y dash should be in 1 this is a first order equation and we have to check whether it is linear or non linear so first we have to identify the given equation is linear or non linear so for that we have to make the coefficient of y dash 1 so we divide throughout by t minus 3 so it is y dash plus log t by t minus 3 Into y equal to two t by t minus three. Okay, now this equation is of the form y dash plus p of t into y plus is equal to g of t. Okay, here p of t is equal to log t by t minus three, and g of t is equal to two t by t minus three. Okay, then. P of t is numerator. It's a uh, rational form function. Our um, P of t is uh, P of t is equal to some. In the numerator is log t, and we know that the log t function is defined for um, all positive numbers. So uh, for uh, checking the continuity of P of t, we have P of t is not P of t. We know that log t. log t is defined only for positive numbers that is uh, that is that is t greater than 0 for negative and t equal to 0 it is not defined and when we look into t minus 3 And we know that p of t will be defined if t minus three is non-zero. So, uh, uh, taking the uh, all that, we can say that p of t is defined and continuous for all points. T belong to R except t less than or equal to zero and t equal to three. So from the uh, domain of the definition of P of T, we have to avoid this. We have to remove these terms. That means so P of T is not continuous. P of t is not continuous uh, for t less than or equal to zero and for t equal to three. That means P of t is continuous, or in other words, we can say that it is continuous for um, t greater than zero. Or we can say p of t is continuous for zero. T belongs to zero three or 
3 infinity and what about g of t g of t the function is g of t the function is 2 t by t minus 3 isn't it so uh, 2 t by t minus 3 both are this is a rational uh, function uh, numerator both numerator and denominator are polynomials and 2 t is a polynomial which is defined for defined and continuous and differentiable also and t minus 3 is also defined continuous and differentiable but when we consider g of t as the rational function this is not defined or not continuous at is not continuous at t equal to 3 isn't it so at t equal to 3 g of t is not defined therefore it will not be continuous also at t equal to 3 so combining these two we can say that uh, hence uh, p of t and g of t are both continuous the common interval in which both are continuous is P of t and G of t are both continuous on the interval zero three and three infinity, but the initial point. What was the initial condition? Initial condition is y of one equal to two. Therefore, the initial point is one t equal to 1 is contained in which interval interval 0 3 so by unique existence and uniqueness theorem so what is the existence and uniqueness theorem says about the solution uh, the existence of the solution we the existence and uniqueness theorem for linear ivp says that um, this system this equation ivp has a unique solution in an interval containing the initial point where p of t and g of t are both continuous then p of t um g of t um continuous aayirikkum venam and a initial point ne contain cheyyum cheyyunna aa or interval le idinu or unique solution undavu nalladana nammude existence and uniqueness theorem parayunnathu so nammude aadiyam p of t dayum g of t dayum continuities check cheyidu adile namukku p of t continuous avana interval nanna actually rendu interval aayittu parayan pattum 0 to 3 um open interval 3 to infinity um and g of t continuous avana interval ennu parnal t olige t equal to 3 olige ulla that means is continuous um, for minus infinity 3 then 3 to infinity ee reethiyile namukku split cheyan pattum okay or minus infinity to 0 and 0 ee reethiyile split cheyam pakshe idile thanne rendu ellam continuous aaguna or interval nu parnal edana open interval 0 3 mathramana open sorry open interval rendum kudi continuous aavuna interval nu parnal open interval 0 3 um 3 infinity undu pakshe adile 3 infinity nalla open interval 3 infinity nallathu endana 1 1 2 nalla point ne allengil initial point t equal to 1 nalla point ne outside aanullathu appo t equal to 1 ne include cheyina or neighborhood allengil or interval nallathu edana 0 3 aanu therefore the given ivp therefore by enganeyanu kittunannu kudi parayanam therefore by the existence and the uniqueness theorem given ivp has a unique solution for where for t belongs to open interval 0 3 or 0 less than t less than 3 so this is the answer so without solving the problem we have we have found the interval in which the solution exists e the interval laan idinu or unique solution allengil solution exist cheynadu nalla nammal aa or equation solve cheyada thanne parayan patti idu possible aayathu namukku endana existence and uniqueness theorem ulladu kondu mathramana so adinde hypothesis il endokke veno aa or conditions nammal kandu pidikya aa or interval edana nu identify cheyidal avade aayirikkum idinu unique solution undava nu namukku uh, equation solve cheyada thanne parayan pattum clear then we move to the next problem our next problem is uh, t into t minus 4 y double dash plus t minus 2 into y dash plus y is equal to 0 comma y of 2 equal to 
1. So let's do that problem. So again writing in the standard form y double dash plus t minus 2 by t into t minus 4 y dash plus 1 by t into t minus 4 y equal to 0 by that one means it's 0 itself okay okay now uh, consider this equation this equation from this we can you can see that the order is 2 this, that means this is a second order is a second order linear od second order linear differential equation okay it's so a second order equation we can also apply the uh, existence and uniqueness theorem we can extend into second order or any nth order equations so uh, the hypothesis will be um, we will discuss the first order equations. In the first order equation, we will P of t is the right side of the function. That is random continuous. The initial point is contained in the same way. The interval is the same way. The given problem is the unique solution. The unique solution is the given problem. The unique solution is the same way. 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 The unique solution is the same way y dash ने इंगुड़ी कॉइफिशिएंट्स ऐड करना अपने ये बेटा नमले p of t i तो नमक के इंद्र चूज़ से याम p of t नल्ला तो y dash ने कॉइफिशिएंट आना that is t minus two into t minus four and let q of t q of t नल्ला तो y डा कॉइफिशिएंट ऐड करनो one by t into t minus four and g of t as the same way right side ले बेरना फंक्शन so y term गलं करेंगे तो बाकी बेरना इंद्र आना और नमले गोटे ऐड करनो and from the uh, definitions this is clear that g of t is continuous for all for all t अल्ल ये दो जो real number नम g of t equal to zero आये दो गुण्डा देने ये दो continuous है ना and what about p of t and q of t and p of t and q of t are continuous नो के नियोमर इतले t minus two आने q of t दे दाने के लिए it's one and what about denominator denominator is not defined for t equal to that means t into t minus four आना so denominator zero आये का इन्हें p of t यूम q of t यूम uh, defined avila defined avila means it will not be continuous also defined all the point le continuity namukku parayan kariyilla first of all it should be defined so anganeyulla points nu varna kanyal denominator zero verna points aanu that is t zero avumbulum adu pole t uh, p of t is not defined when t into t minus 4 equal to 0 this implies either t equal to 0 or t equal to 4 so p of t and random name denominators are same aana. so p of t and q of t in the parayana namukku is in the parayana we can say that p of t and q of t are not continuous not defined to when that means p of t and q of t are not continuous for t equal to 0 was t equal to 4 that is p of t and g of t are continuous for minus infinity to 0 0 to 4 and 4 to infinity so continuous agan interval na barna lido kiyana and what about our uh, initial condition initial condition is y of 2 equal to 2 of these three intervals only 0 4 contains 2 belongs to this interval isn't it so uh, therefore the interval containing the initial point t not equal to 2 is interval open interval 0 4 therefore the solution the solution must exist must exist in the interval t belong to 0 4 or 0 less than t less than 4 okay
now let's check the third problem let's do the third problem equation is y dash plus tan t into y equal to sin t where y of pi is equal to 0 and this is a first order linear equation here p of t we can write uh, quickly as p of t is equal to tan t and g of t is equal to sin t and you know that tan t we can write it as sin t by cos t and g of t is sin t itself and g of t uh, we know the graph of uh, sin t sin function and it is continuous there is no breaking in the uh, graph so it is continuous for all t belongs to r okay and what about p of t p of t is not defined when uh, the denominator becomes zero is not defined for uh, cos t, t such that cos t equal to 0 cos t equal to 0 when t is equal to 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 multi odd multiples of pi by 2 where n belong to z isn't it uh, integers set of integers so p of t is not a continuous for so p of t is not continuous continuous at t equal to plus or minus uh, pi by 2 plus or minus 3 pi by 2 uh, plus or minus 5 pi by 2 etc or we can say that that is p of t is continuous on the intervals uh, we can minus uh, 5 pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2 then minus 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 then minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 then pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 and so on of this uh, pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 uh, contains now uh, consider our uh, initial condition what is our initial condition y of pi equal to 0 so of this uh, only the interval pi by 2 3 pi by 2 pi belongs to of this pi belongs to the interval pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 so by the theorem by the existence and uniqueness theorem we can say that the ivp as a unique solution in the interval pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 or pi by 2 less than t less than 3 pi by 2 okay okay let's stop here and the remaining there are three more problems remaining that you can do uh, yourself try it and find these uh, intervals in which the solution exists okay thank you